Welcome, pick of the week with Justin and Corey. Today we wanted to take a, just a step back and uh, reassess <laughs> something that we had covered last week, red tokens. So we actually got diving deep into it on our DeFi call, our weekly DeFi call, and some things had changed. So we got uh, basically digging deeper and we wanted to do a quick update on this because what we found was potentially a pretty massive red flag. So um, Justin's got everything pulled up here. We can dive straight into it. But basically, we exited our positions, uh, made some good profits. But um, basically, the first issue that we ran into was trying to use the contract address on some DEX tools. Uh, not DEX tools, the platform, but different tools that we use in DeFi to really verify the validity of a project as well as making sure that there aren't any issues that can possibly end catastrophically. So uh, this one particularly, our thought process basically led us to believe that everything had been pulled from the DEXs. They are on a lot of centralized exchanges, but basically they're offloading what we thought was massive buying volume is massive buying volume, but we cannot verify if these wallets are continuing to hold their coin. There was a large percentage held by consultants, uh, by the team, by you know the treasury, and we can't verify that online anymore. The contract address does not take us to a contract and we are seeing very large deposits into some of these exchanges so the potential is that they are offloading these coin through the centralized exchanges they already pulled everything down from the dexes liquidity is gone liquidity is pulled and the centralized exchanges haven't caught on yet so the other big red flag is we got into the social channels and they were dead there was nothing for them admins a lot of people asking what's going on dead project you know, and uh, even though there's a lot of hype, a lot of big events going on, there's got to be some talks, some updates. And it seems like these are scheduled posts that have been, you know, sparingly uh, posted out every few days, whereas we want to see some action in the Telegram and the Discord, and we're just not seeing that. So without further ado, I'll let Justin uh, dive deeper here. Yeah, so we always talk about coming into CoinGecko. CoinGecko is a great place when you're starting off product, uh, sorry, asset research, project research, but there's more and more, especially when you get into DeFi and it's, it's so fast paced, this industry, like when we, so two weeks ago, a week ago, when we first looked at red token, things were looking good. We could, we could verify everything. And then today on DeFi, on our DeFi webinar call, it was, there was a lot gone. So I just want to kind of walk you through how we came to these these thoughts, these theses. So everything looks fine on here. It's still on, you know, your main main exchanges and whatnot. And then we come over to the website. There's really no change here, but using the website to find our, you know, official links for socials and such. So first place I like going is Twitter. So Twitter, I mean, these guys are still active. So they've got pin posts. Their last post was December 20th, kind of showing off their demonstration project. Um, as we go down, you know, some of the some of the pre-launch information, some of the things that they're using and and transferring over or transitioning over to blockchain and cryptocurrencies to be able to purchase through their red wallet, all these good things. So Twitter looks, you know, not bad. There's there's a little bit of engagement here, which is always something you want to look for, is seeing what the community engagement's like. But you know, we're not seeing that consistent posting and information that we would see from a, a newish project that's just hustling and getting things done. So the other place I went was their Telegram channel. And first thing you do when you come in here is everyone's asking for where's the admin? Where's the admin? How come no one's answering me back? Red is dead. Like no one is managing this community right here. And it's a decent size, you know, over 21,000. So yes, you can see the top 10 wallets hold max supply. They're dumping it and retailers are getting wrecked. So right off the hop, you know, there's unrest in the community. So that's always something we want to identify. And then taking our contract address and moving over to like Gecko Terminal. 
cannot be found. So we can copy and paste that address right into Gecko Terminal. There is zero information on Dex from DEXs that we can pull from this contract now. Same thing is true if we come over to Dex Screener. So we can just copy and paste that address in there. It's going to do a scan, look for that smart contract. We have no pairs available to us anymore. So they have pulled all trading from DEXs. They've got central exchanges still going. And then when we start diving into bubble maps and looking at wallets and, and token allocations and distribution, you're, you're starting to see more and more red flags come up. So thought it was important enough to share with the community as we did do a DeFi pick of the week last week on this token. And just wanted to show how quickly things evolve in DeFi. If you're getting into DeFi, it's very important to educate yourself on how to manage these these investments, these trades, because these projects are snappy. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And then anything that's, you know, six months old, even a year old can be a different form of investing, right? So a lot of projects in the NFT metaverse and gaming space don't make it that far, but you know, that's where projects that have physical assets, you know, there's some good funding behind them. They're making a lot of moves. Now, this looked pretty good. We did know that it was early on, but that's where everything was lining up, looking decent as far as technical analysis goes. But it was when we got digging into the on-chain that things started really looking a little suspicious. So um, a really good catch. Uh, glad that we found it, stumbled across it, because, yeah, things turn quickly. And it's not very often that it's something like a, that's on this many centralized exchanges that's going to happen like that, right? So um yeah we'll see uh just another reason why we are shifting to DeFi, right um and pre-sales over so if you want to jump on we do have a bundle uh on sale right now basically you pick up the DeFi course and you get the wallets course included free so that is on right now take a look check it out um save yourselves beatings you know we do have a lot of opportunity but sometimes the best trade is the one that you don't make right so uh really good catch and a lot more coming down the line so wanted to make an announcement a little update on that um usually we like to find the gems but sometimes it's finding the ones that you know are being very suspicious in the way they do things are the best most valuable projects to find because watching this real time unfold is not very common right so you can keep an eye out for next time what to look for to avoid a situation like this again so that's it for me uh any closing words justin no i think we did a good job covering it all um just showing you know the, the power of DeFi and how quickly it evolves and it's still a very experimental place like the the, the development coming into DeFi is is phenomenal but anyone can do it, right? Yeah. And anyone can jump in, create a project, have a great idea. And we are dealing with people that can just pull back on that idea. You know, I'm going to be keeping an eye on Red Token because I'm not fully convinced that, you know, it's a dead project. I think they might be doing something behind the scenes, transitioning. They're just not managing the project or their community properly. So it's something that still interests me, but it's breaks you know you pump the brakes when you start seeing red flags you you apply that to your risk management so education yeah. is super important as we make this transition this next run DeFi is going to blow up in my opinion uh just with all the events with centralized projects centralized exchanges just anything in the that that field is pushing people towards DeFi. So we want to be prepared and ready. And it starts with education and building a community that we can learn and trade and grow together. So excited, excited to watch 2023 unfold. Absolutely. So with that, we'll see you same time, uh, same place next week. Take care.